Hey guys, today I'm going to give you the best FISBO script for 2021. My name is Jackie Kravitz with SalesX Training. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe and click the bell next to it because on this channel, we're uploading new videos every single week to help you become a top listing agent and make more money in real estate. Also, make sure you like this video, comment below, let me know if you have any questions. Let's get right into it. What is the best script that you should use for for sale by owners right now in 2021? First of all, FISBOs are the market of the moment. This is your single best opportunity to take listings every single day for sale by owners because obviously we're in a very hot, strong seller's market. And every homeowner thinks they can sell it themselves. And for the most part, unless they do something that makes absolutely no sense, even if they're overpriced, which a lot of them are, they may be able to sell it just because of the lack of inventory right now. So what is the conversation that you need to be having with for sale by owners so you could set qualified listing appointments, then go out and take the listing. Now, there are two parts to this, right? Because setting an appointment is the first step. For you to be able to list a for sale by owner, you got to be able to set an appointment first. Now, you got to go on that appointment. And in order for you to set that appointment, you're going to have to call or go knock on their door and of course, what you say, which is the script, and how you use the script, how, how do you sound when you use the best script? It's going to be the difference between setting the appointment or not. And we're not talking about preview appointments. That's a waste of your time. Get rid of that idea that for sale by owners, you know, take a long time, so I got to go and preview and, you know, get to know them and offer them a, something of value and keep calling them and, and, and whatever until they're tired of what they're doing. Well, in a hot market like right now, chances are they will sell before they get tired of what they're doing. If we were in a buyer's market, when I got into real estate in 1996, oh, it was a buyer's market. So I could actually just stay following up with Fizbos for weeks and months and they'd just still be sitting there and eventually they would figure out, well, this is not working. Maybe I should use an agent. But in a market like this, they may very well sell it. The problem is selling on their own is not in their best interest. They may even put the house on the market, get a full price offer the next day, and they're going to be thrilled and excited. It is not in their best interest to sell on their own. You have to understand that because the best script is the script that speaks to the value that you bring to this transaction. If there is no value, people pay for value for perceived value. I have no doubt in my mind that listing with me is the best decision any for sale by owner can make. And if they don't list with me, they're making a mistake. I believe in the value of what I do. I know what I bring to the table. And I know that if they sell on their own, they're go it's going to cost them money. They're thinking, I'm going to save the commission so I get to keep more money. No, no, no. Not having a great agent represent them is going to cost them way more than the commission that that agent charges. So I want you to go on the banner here on my YouTube channel on the upper right hand corner. And there's a little link there that says download Jackie's Fizzle script. You have it right there. The point is it's value. They're selling on their own to save the commission. And it's not a question of whether, like I said before, it's not a question of whether they can sell it or not, because of course they can. The question is, is selling on their own the best way for them to do it? The answer is no. But see, I believe that. 
and you have to get yourself to believe that. When you download the script, the second question on the script is, is saving the commission the main reason why you decided to sell it yourself instead of using an agent? The quicker you get to the commission conversation, the better off you are. They're not interested in telling you about where they're moving to, how soon they want to be there, and what's going on. They're not interested. All they care about is the money. And obviously, they're going to say, well, yeah, you know, I don't want to pay oh, all this money. You guys charge too much money. Mr. Seller, I completely understand. And in the end, if you can sell your home for the same price that a real estate agent can sell it for, by all means. I mean, I'd be, if I were in your situation, I'd be thinking the same way. And quite honestly, in a strong seller's market like what we have right now, lack of inventory, you couldn't have picked a better time to sell yourself. I have no doubt that you can do it. Let me just ask you, Mr. Seller, if I can show you a way where it would actually benefit you financially, in essence, you would net more money even after you pay my commission by allowing me to list and sell this property for you rather than you selling it yourself. Is that something that you might consider? Now, there are a few things here that are very subtle and are critically important. First of all, this is a hypothetical question. It's, I love these structures of questions. If blank, would you blank? If I can show you a way where you'd net more money by working with me instead of selling yourself, would you consider it? It's very hard to say no to that, but they probably will. I mean, you're going to have to go around with these types of questions, different ones, not the same one every time, likely to be five, six, even seven times. And the reason for that is FISBOs are very confident about what they're doing. Their confident is at a 10. If they weren't confident, they wouldn't be a FISBO. They would have listed, if they, like, well, I don't think I could do it. Well, then they wouldn't be selling on their own. They would have listed with an agent already. So when you call, they're going to sound very confident. And the reason why they, even though it's very hard to say no to that question, they're likely to say no just because, first of all, some people are just stubborn. You know, it's like logical. If there was a financial benefit, no. Really? Like, what is that about? Yeah, they're confident. They think, no, I got time. You know, they say all kinds of stuff. Maybe true or not, doesn't matter. That's another video. But the point is, every time, you ask for the appointment and or you ask a question like this. Let's say they say, no, you know, I'm not in a hurry. Mr. Seller, I mean, obviously, that's a great position for you to be in. You repeat and approve, blah, blah, blah. And then you ask a different way. And then you ask for the appointment again. Every time you go through that process, these questions are written to create doubt, to spark curiosity to make them wonder, hmm, uh, I wonder what, what are they talking about? And every time you go through it, their confidence, it starts at a 10. And then the second time around, it's a nine. And you ask a third time, different ways of asking, right? And I have a lot of different FISBO closes. They're part of my training, but you can download the script for free. Every time you go around, their confidence is, is going down, going down. And it gets to a point where they, they say, well, would you consider it? Remember, that's the, how you tie down that question. Is that something that you might consider? Again, they don't feel pressured. Well, would you list with me? No, would you consider it? And then when you ask for the appointment, it would only take 20 minutes for me to show you exactly how and why. I'd be able to more than make up for the commission that I charge. Would you be available today around 3 o'clock? Would 4 be better? So you're asking for 20 minutes. Again, real easy to say yes to. And after you go through this a few times, they're like, okay, well, I guess 20 minutes. I mean, it can't hurt. It's like I'm not committing to anything. I'm just going to hear what you're going to say. Maybe there's something here that I need to know. And that's how you get the appointment. And then once you set the appointment, you're going to pre-qualify. Then you're going to roll right into so that I can better prepare for a meeting. Mr. Seller, when we sell your home, 
where will you be moving to, what is the ideal time frame for you to get there, and all the other pre-qualifying questions with the last one being, so when we meet, another if blank would you blank, if you, at the end of our meeting, if you feel confident that hiring me is the best financial decision you can make, will you be ready to go ahead and do it? Or you could even, would you consider it? That's the final pre-qualifying question. Best for sale by owner script for 2021 and beyond. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment below, and I will see you on the next video.